Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting one stroke painting today. So I'm going to make, use um, a 12 for the five petal. And I, I'm going to show you a couple of things I do in between too, if I remember here. I'm going to do some scroll work. All right. So now what's going to happen? I have too much paint again. I'm going to come out here and get the dark blue. And when I'm doing a cluster like of hydrangeas or little flowers, I'm going to have the dark in the background and I'm going to layer these. So to show you, this is a good lesson on layering that's going to help you. Okay. So we're going to take, pick up the dark blue again, and I'm going to show you that this is a five petal flower that I touch, push down, guide it around, and slide on the chisel to stand up. So, a little trick for this is I do a V to start here, push down, guide it around, stand up, stand up, stand up to the chisel, and slide. And that gives you a perfect one. So, what happens is that if we do, there's a gingerbread head, arms, I do this and that makes all, I even catch myself saying that as I'm painting myself. And there's the two legs, so you get this really nice gingerbread band. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up more fresh white. Now, now we're going to layer these, and this is what makes it yummy, is that we're going to go over the wet paint. So see, I'm going to come over here and stroke white each time, because when I go over the wet paint, I'm going to get this. It's going to pick up some of the blue, too, when you go over it. So, this is why I want you to see that we're going to go like this to blend it before we go over here and it'll keep it from having too many streaks. And if I don't like a petal, I just go fresh over that, okay? So, we're just going to stroke right on top. See the bottom petals? Sometimes I just do three instead of the whole five petal thing because it might not show and I'm just layering it. So look at the difference of the value of color that we're getting, okay? And then same thing, I can trail a few little buds coming out to the side. And one here. Now what happens is I'm going to dot these. I'm also going to do a few leaves. So let's come out here and do these slider leaves. So I touch, lean, and slide. We're going to take our hands and go in different directions. They help you figure out where to put the leaves. And they're going out from your bouquet. And then you want to pull into your... I know you all catch me sometimes pulling out, but we're really supposed to point, pull into the leaves, okay? Now I have a little trick that makes this really nice at the end, and I'll show you. And I also like to have, where am I at? I like to have this come on off of here, even though it's a, a small cluster. You can still have it spill over and have just some of the flowers showing. On top. Okay, so now look what happens here. We're going to take, this time I'm going to use the tip into thick paint. And I can put a little blue dots. with the tip or let me show you both or let's do pure white so you said we're just going to dip little dots we also have these great screw on tips that screw into your paint bottle they make writers out of them I love it you can just take a dot 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 really quick with that all right so sometimes I like to come in here and dot some extra dots in between that also gives you more design with these two blue and white colors it's 
especially when I'm not happy with how that turned out. I have all kinds of tricks to cover stuff for you. <laughs>